the next game. This is game number two on Polypoid between uh, Snow and Scan. Again, this is the round of four of day one ASL qualifiers. Best of three. Scan took down game one. Uh, and yeah, he did it. Uh, he did it very well. It was a really interesting build with six tanks early on. I'm sure that he must have had this in his head as a good build against Snow. You probably don't want to do it twice in the series. I'd be very surprised about him doing it twice because, again, any DT, uh, if he does not, like, any DT would have killed the build, right? Like, <laughs> I almost talk, feel like I'm talking about a speed run. DT any percent <laughs> kills the fucking siege tanks easily because uh, he's just going detectionless. But it, sometimes it's really good in tournaments to optimize your builds like that. Ladder build, not so much. You're literally just playing with a percentage at that point. But Artosis, I like ladder points. Okay, great. Go play with your little fucking percentage then. It's cool. Okay, so let's take a look at this build. So this is already very, very different. So Scan's gone three depot. This is not a Nexus first or anything. This is a one gate Nexus, no range. So this is a this is a pretty popular build. I feel like it's actually gotten less popular lately, but I still see pros do it very regularly. Uh, so by skipping range, basically, you get the Nexus a lot faster. And honestly, you don't need range that much. Uh, like, all the early pressure builds from... Or all the early attack builds from Terran are not that good anymore. Uh, people have gotten very good at, at pairing them. But this is a quick starport from Scan. So it looks like he's going to go a little bit cheesy here in game number two, being up a game, and try to quick, get a quick victory. Now, this position, it's a little bit harder to get a build like this to work because you don't have a straight line uh, path to the, the main base. Like for instance, if Snow was over here, Scan can literally just fly in this worthless part of the map that Snow shouldn't be in and get to the main base. Here, Scan has to figure out, because you can't really fly over the natural that well, because if you drop in the natural, it's too tight and you have no micro room. So the probes will surround everything while the goons run up the ramp. Uh, so he has to like decide like, oh, does he go out here and up and over? Does he make a line like that? And some of the ways that you figure this out are by laying mines in a line on the map, okay? So, for instance, if you're scanning and you're pushing the goon back and you end up laying some mines, maybe you put one here. Maybe you put put one here or you put put one here, right? Maybe you have one here and here. Something like that. Oh, oh sorry, one second. Uh, let me just finish that thought and we'll play that. Sorry, one sec. Uh, but yeah, put a couple mines there, that type of thing, right? So you can make this arc of mines... Uh, just to to keep the goons back, and then you know where your shuttle can fly. But as soon as you start making an arc of mines, a smart Protoss player looks at that and says, put goons in the main base, right? So th this is where it's tricky. Whereas, let's say Snow is in the bottom left, there's more potential here for Scan to not necessarily need to show his cards with the mines and just fly over. That it, There's more potential for that, right? So anyways, just throwing that out there. Let me play that real quick, Apotheosis. Whoa! The real Apotheosis 92 donated $20. The Snow 1 base PVZ from 5 years ago with Shuttle slash Reva into the 5 Hatch Hydra is maybe my favorite game of all time. Yeah, that's a game uh, against Soul Key. Is that 5 years ago? I think it was, I think it was like, maybe it was. Shit, time passes weird in COVID times. But yeah, Snow vs. Soul Key, and it was on that winter map, uh, that 3 player map. I can't remember the name of it to save my life right now. But yeah, that was, that was, I feel like, the beginning of the second wave of Snow's career where he's like, I can play PvZ now. Because there was actually this big period of like 10 years where Snow never won a pro match in PvZ, and now he's one of the best at it. Thank you, Apotheos. Appreciate it. Uh, Yeah, I think it, you're probably right. It was probably four to five years ago. Okay, so let's take a look at how Scan tries to pull this off here. Okay, so it should be Robo. There's the Robo. Range is on the way. He's got one goon out front to stop scouting. He's got one goon here that's kind of roaming. Vulture running up the side. He puts the bunker down. Now, here's another thing. See this bunker placement? If you ever see this bunker place, I'm going to give Protoss players a tip. If you ever see this bunker placement, it's probably a drop. This is a forward bunker placement to discourage Dragoons. Why wow, would I say discourage like that? Discourage uh, Dragoons from running by to see if there's a command center. See, the more defensive bunker placement is here. That's where you build the bunker if you're not going dropship. This is much more likely to die to anything, but also more likely to push them back from scouting. So this is a bit of a tell. 
Uh, I just want to throw that out there for you. Like the difference in positioning here is significant. Look at the arc that you can get as Protoss here. Whereas if you put it here, what's your arc? It's not, it's like that, right? So this is an inferior placement unless you're trying to get them not to scout that you don't have the command center. And of course, as soon as you see no command center, you just play defense. Now, Snow's not doing that, as we see, so we'll see if he figures this out. Three gate. Three gate. I talked about this in game one, where Scan knows he's more likely, like he's less likely to go three gate obs, he's less likely to go DT. After that first, after that build in game one, he's added the third gate, right? So he just has more Dragoons this time. Because if you, like you saw how well he did with that small amount of Dragoons against the six tanks, you give him two more goons in there, Two more goons, then, then another additional goon? Oh, man. He's going to do way better against that. So three gate obs, if you produce nonstop, you hold everything, basically. Everything in the early game. So really cool to see him kind of switch it up like that. He's like, I am not dying to you. So look, this is the, the mines I was talking about in the lines, right? He's just trying to make, make room to fly his dropship. So where's the drop? Here it comes. Now, Snow doesn't know. Ooh, this is good for Scan. Now, Scan is down a lot of workers, by the way. Okay, this is something you gotta gotta consider is the speed of command centers versus nexuses. Like, he's producing two probes at a time for a while. He's up eight workers already. It's a huge difference. So this literally has to get damage done. To make this game even... Okay, this is almost halfway done. Okay, so like to make this game even, worker-wise, just worker number, okay? You need to kill the eight he has and then three more, which represent the build time of this, to catch up in probes. So he has to kill 11 workers with this to make the worker count even as his command center finishes. So let's see how much he does. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10. Okay, so I believe he got 10. Look, it's a one probe advantage. And of course, anyone missing workers makes that... Makes that... Uh, it makes the math change on it. I don't know how to say this exactly. But like, that's with perfect production the entire time that I was talking about. Okay, so he does okay damage. And obviously, as a commentator, I'm like, Whoa, that was sick damage! But the reality of the situation is... Uh, look... What, what, and look, oh, this is exactly what I said too. Look at the arc that you get now, right? This is an issue. Okay, so two things. Number one, Toast is so smart. Oh my God, he just knows. He just knows things. It's crazy. It's like everything he says about Protoss is true. Uh, but yeah, the worker count is an advantage for Snow right now. Uh, he may actually drop off on probe production. As you can see, he's actually not making probes, which is a little bit of an issue. You really want to keep up on that. That's like one of your big advantages is Protoss. Uh, but obviously, if you're m using all of your attention to micro really well, that can be worthwhile where you skip the probes. But anyways, you can see this surface area that I was talking about. Like, you can't put a tank here to hit goons like you normally can when the bunker is back here. Uh, and the surface area is much, much bigger. So you see Scan kind of scrambling with a ton of SCVs. He's losing mining, mining time. This is enough goons. As soon as you hit six goons, you can walk up and snipe SCVs. And obviously, we saw him step forward with the four and got a volley off on the tank. Because four goons, two shot a tank. So you see the amount of pressure that's being put on. It's pretty crazy. Siege is almost done. So all Scan has to do is like super repair this. Then Siege. Second tank Siege up here. He's safe. But a bit of an issue. Okay. So there's the armory. And he's just laying a few mines, a few, like, anti-reaver mines. Snow's going to see where they all are. Uh, and we should see him add at least one more factory. Okay, that's a very late tech right there. Very late uh, reaver. Yeah, just waiting for that drop. Expecting it. Okay, so where are we at in this game? Let's pause it for a second and just take a look. Okay, we have Reaver that's going to be coming out. We have the three gates. 42 workers against 40. Three Nexus against 2 CC. 
Uh, third factory is not quite done. eBay is just now coming up. So here are the problems for Scan. Well, first off, he's making a Wraith, which is really good. Like, he's going to need that because the shuttle's coming. Um, I imagine Snow will get shuttle speed in a little bit, but doesn't have the gas for it yet. Uh, Scan's upgrades have started. That's cool. But this game has to go long for Scan to win. Like, there is zero potential for Scan to do any more damage this game. Like, his only potential was the dropship. And he'll probably try dropping a couple more times. Why not? The vultures are, are cheap. He doesn't need them right now. But he doesn't have any real potential for damage. So Snow is going to kind of control the game from here. And Scan has to upgrade. He has to macro and he has to block everything. And one, if he does that for long enough, okay, now we're getting into a game where there might be kill potential or something. Okay, that was a rally. Wow, I can't believe he saved that. That was the rally from the dropship. He just forgot to reset. Little mistake there. Almost loses the Wraith. That would have been terrible. Wraith costs all... It costs as much as a siege tank, almost as much as a factory. So, like, if you make a Wraith, you've got to keep that thing alive until you, you don't need it, basically. That's a good hiding spot for the dropship. No one's ever going to look there. Catches a probe down here. That's sneaky by Snow. That's dirty. If I caught that probe, I would swear while I'm playing. Like, you little shit. Trying to send a probe down here? That's dirty. Okay, let's take a look now. Uh, okay, so Scan is, like, rocketing up his factories, which is exactly what he needs. He's down 14 workers right now and about 50 supply total. Two shuttles with two Reavers and Zealots, a bunch of goons. Okay, let's take a look. Zealot legs is one of the most important things in Psystorm. So Psystorm is a ways off. Now, one thing to be clear, in these types of games, if you're trying to come out and they already have Psystorm, the game is over. Flash could not beat a fucking 2400 Protoss if they have Storm and Flash is coming out like this. It's impossible. You have to get out here before Psystorm. It is the number one most important thing. Uh, because otherwise, like you're, you have to be clumped to move out. And so Psystorm murders you. Uh, the second scary thing is when Zealot Legs are done, because they'll start making arcs and just attacking in. So, he has to leapfrog really, really, really quickly here. He has to get up onto this high ground. Okay, this is pretty good by scan, honestly. it's This is a hard thing to do. Uh, he did... T Wait, where the... Okay, he actually lost all the Goliaths. Oh, shit. Look at this, Psystorm's coming. <laughs> Blowing up turrets that are trying to be made. Oh man, this is gross. Uh, but he's he's at least getting out. He has four more Goliaths here. Here we go, he's getting up. Gets both those shuttles as they come in. A few Zolts get out. Okay, Scan has done it, he's up here. Even the Reavers dropping out. Like He'll probably drop the Reavers and try to get a couple Scarab shots there, but he might actually just turn around because if these Goliaths snap, relocate their attack fire on this, then he's going to be in trouble. Oh, he pulls back. Just so fucking snow. Okay, so Scan has secured himself on the third base. So important. And the game can go on. And suddenly, you see how much snow spent trying to do that? Not that bad for Scan. 142 against 177? Not bad. 58 workers? Not bad. Okay, okay. Doesn't have a... Well, he doesn't... Okay, anti-air. For the shuttles. Snow is getting more bases. This one's kind of a cheeky one to take. Because this is something that can be pushed relatively quickly. But Snow in particular is good at taking bases like this because he'll fuck around with shuttles. So that's that's an interesting take. Most Protoss, I would say that's a really bad idea. But with Snow, I think it's fine. He'll make it so cost inefficient for you to go up that little ramp. My god. Okay, so Scan is just trying to get another base. Pretty good by scan, I think, overall. But you can see the differences start to pile up. Now suddenly, 130 against 175, and Snow has three times the bank, as far as minerals go. So it's like Snow can trade a little bit worse than scan in each engagement. Oh, the depots. I know you guys love those. Love those in the way. That's actually cool positioning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. So again, Scan is more efficient right there, but does that matter? Over twice the bank here, 136, 176. So it's kind of similar, 
to before, and Snow lost a little bit of the additional bank, but that doesn't matter. It's not from the army. It's from building all this shit over here. Snow is getting so many bases, right? So he has his quadrant here, this big quadrant, right? We got our five bases here, and now he's taking these two, and it's like, oh, he's going to get really big, and Scan doesn't have his fourth up yet. So we're going up to seven base as Scan's getting four. It's like Scan decides he needs to attack, but the Psy Storms just demolish him, as you see. It's so hard to attack into the Psy Storm. Like, you can't, basically. You can't. That's why you have to defend everything kind of perfectly. So Scan just lost, like, so many tanks. That's... <laughs> you can see how difficult this is for him right now. Snow is just running him around. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a cute move. Doesn't... Well, it does a little bit. It does a little bit. Cute move. But now it's like 10 times the bank and 60 supply up. Oof. Scan is going to be out of minerals. He doesn't really have anything left here. This is this is 100% a scan loss. You can't come back. I think... Uh, you know, the biggest mistake, obviously, was that counterattack where he's like, well, he's wasted so much, I can counter. No, you can't. He has Psy Storm. No, you can't. Yeah, this is, this is super tough. The best chance for Scan here is to split map. If he can push across, take this location, and turtle everything to hell... Uh, that's the best possible thing, but Snow knows that, and that's why... Where is it? That's why he started plus one air attacks. Because he... It's like, if Scan tries that, he'll just switch into Mass Carrier. And once you switch into Mass Carrier, you force the attack. And if the attack comes, you just Psy Storm it. And that's it. The game is yours. Excellently played game from Snow. Like, ridiculously well played game. He slowed Scan in every way that he was supposed to. I mean, this is why he's, you know, oftentimes considered number one uh, Protoss vs. Terran player out there. Just so strong. You can see, like, he just slows him down over and over and over and over. Look at his bank build. It's just crazy. GG.